Well guys, welcome back with me, Chow Chow 2025 in Persona 3 FES Journey. From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. We're gonna continue the story. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. <clears throat> That's what he was trying to do? Imagine if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident. Recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time, and a very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So, that means my dad caused it all? The Dark Hour, Tartarus... The people who died in that incident? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? Damn it, Yukari. No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! What the hell with you? She's freezing me off. Um, shouldn't someone go after her? Let her be. <sighs> Will you go? No. Okay, I'm gonna make a few choose. Just let her be. Please. Why me? I doubt she'd listen to me. Yeah, it's all resolved in the same thing. So I said, sure. Thank you.
believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. What did they do? Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. But all this... Yeah, it must be... Let's see. But all this time... Damn I... it. <laughs> They're not having tough. Yeah. <laughs> but all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. That's not true. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality... I guess so. Why does reality have to be... Damn it, you don't reply me. Come on, cheer up. Sorry, ain't gonna happen. Why does re- I think this is- <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. Yeah, it might. I mean- why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? You know, it doesn't matter what I see, but I'm gonna... <laughs> do you anything. Huh, well you're just Mr. Perfect. Nothing ever phases you. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? You think you know me? You what don't know hell? anything. What the hell? Huh. Well, you're just Mr. Oh, Perfect. Yeah, 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 you see. No, you're not. <clears throat> huh. Well, you're just Mr. Perfect. Nothing ever phases you. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? You think you know me? You don't know anything! What? I'm sorry. My head's a mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me. What should I do? Does that even matter? It's okay not to know. Huh? You know, you really... I think. You mean... keep believing? Stay with us and fight. Huh? You know, you really are one of a kind. I'm 
sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents, too. But... I'm alright now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for nothing. Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew it. But still, thanks. I came because I want to. Ooh, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh this is kind of awkward, isn't it? Hey! Hey, June Peace for the moment. Give her a hug. Damn it, Junpei. <sighs> Yeesh! What's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting! It's almost... the dark hour, so you should get back. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Hmm? Um... Did I miss something? No, you ruined something, that is. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Well, duh. Duh. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Yep. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. Let's get back. Whatever. What the hell? You feel ass if you were being watched. Again. <clears throat> It's 21 day. Second day in Yakushima, morning. Ah, the air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. What? It's a lot of quad like. <laughs> oh, so listen to this. I mean, Fuka tried to talk to these two girls and <laughs> they won't talk to each other, so she ended up talking alone. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday and I didn't know how to react. <laughs> it's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Yeah. Not a good idea. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Mitsuru speaking. <laughs> Who are you, Ka? Uh, Mitsuru? We have a slight problem. What? Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? 
I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Jeez, where could they be? Yay, yeah, you left them. No, they left you. Oh, they're in the This bitch. says we've gone to see the Joman cedar tree. It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh, man. We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? Yeah. That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. Damn, it's like an adult movie title, Operation Babe Hunt. Babe Hunt? You mean like, pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. Akihiko is clearly hassistant. What do you think about this? Gonna answer all of it. I don't care. You two want to let this opportunity to enjoy our summer vacation go to waste? Come on, guys, it'll be fun. Then I'm appointing him our leader as usual. Sounds like a hassle. Yeah, you're right. It does sound like a hassle. But what are we gonna do the rest of the day? Come on, guys! It'll be fun! Then I'm appointing him our leader as usual. As for Gilly's operation. Then I'm appointing him our leader as usual. What? Why? You said yourself this is an operation. Aw, oh, man, that's bullshit! <laughs> you better take this seriously. It's an important operation. <laughs> oh, we found Tenoridas. Let's go hit them. Come on, let's get going. I'm not really up for this. <coughs> Hip hip hip, target confirmed. Let's move in for the kill. This is my area of expertise, so listen up. First off, take of something to talk about. Something they might be interested in. Give them an easy question to get the ball rolling. That's the golden rule. Something's like, where are you from? Or having fun? Pretty soon, you'll be tossing question and answer back and forth like you're playing catch. I'll start think off and you can ask the question, alright? Here we go. Hey ladies. Where are you from? Having fun? Having fun? None of your business. Hey. What? Where are you from? None of it business. Hey, no need to be sorry. We don't lie. Why should we tell you? Come on, get us some slack. We just want to talk. I thought you said you were an, ex an expert. Hold your horses. I'm just getting one up. Watch and learn. So ladies, are you in college? Um... Don't tell me you guys are still in high school.
Nope, not us. Seriously? You should like hack school from here. <laughs> Sorry, that's a lie. High school kids practicing in Yakushima? It kind of pissed me off. Well, we were invited to our friend's vacation home. Pretty cool, huh? Good for your friend. We on the other hand have to pay for our vacation with our hard-earned money. I guess we were just lucky. Yeah, lucky you. What do you want anyway? Nothing? Then take a hike. We came to hit on you. Huh? <laughs> you pretty bold. Hey, stop giving them compliments and just ignore them. Wait! Don't do that! How can you blame us for wanting to talk to such beautiful woman? Huh, <sighs> this guy are full of shit. Yeah, let's get out of here. Bye. Come on, give us a chance. How about a walk on the beach? You're annoying. See you, boys. So much for your appetite. Hey, I did my best. What about you, Senpai? You think you can do better? Come on. So that's what you got. Why should I? Well, you're supposed to be a tactical master, right? And isn't it our duty to help each other succeed? I guess you have a point there. Okay. I think Akihiko uh, got a show of his skill, but you know, time is up. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see Akihiko on the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.